So we begin with a certain electrochemical cell that's composed of cadmium and zinc. Now we are given the cell voltage or the electromotive force of our cell and it's given to be 0.36 volts under standard conditions. That means one bar pressure and one molar concentration. Now this guy is also at 25 degrees Celsius. So we are also given the cell voltage for one of the two half reactions, one of the two half cells. And the zinc half reaction is given negative 0.76 volts. We want to find, our goal is to find the cell voltage for the other half cell, for the other half reaction. So, in the first step, we begin our problem by writing the redux reaction for the entire equation, for the entire process. So, solid zinc reacts with cadmium ion to produce aqueous zinc and solid cadmium. So, let's figure out which one is oxidized and which one is reduced. This will help us place the metal that belongs to the anode and the metal that belongs to the cathode. So, zinc solid goes from a neutral charge to a plus two charge. That means it loses electrons, so that means it is oxidized. It's a reducing agent. Now, this guy, cadmium ion, goes from an ion to a neutral charge. And that means this guy is reduced, so it's the oxidizing agent. It gains those electrons that are released by this zinc solid metal. So that means in step two, when we draw our electrochemical cell, the first half cell will contain our zinc solid. And that's because zinc is oxidized. And the anode always contains the oxidation reaction. So this is our zinc metal. That means this must be our cadmium metal. And so electrons will travel via the conductor, via this voltmeter, and into this uh, cathode, into this electrode. The voltmeter, by the way, is the thing that reads 0.36 volts. So, this salt bridge is placed here because it plays the role of closing the circuit. Without the salt bridge, this guy would not function. The electrons would not flow. And it's very important. So once again, our anode, our place where oxidation occurs, and our cathode, the place where reduction occurs. So electrons travel from this way, from this electrode, to this electrode. So when they leave this cell, this solid zinc releases electrons, right? Electrons begin to flow here. It also releases a zinc ion into this solution. And when the electrons travel this way, they combine, when they reach this, this metal, they combine with the cadmium ions, forming our cadmium solid. So, in the third step, we basically want to use this cell voltage formula to find our cell voltage for the cathode. Remember, now we know that this guy, this value of negative 0.76 represents the value for the anode. So we use this formula to solve for our cathode. So we know our 0.36 volts, which is told by the voltmeter. Now this we don't know, so we let it be x minus, now in parentheses, we have a negative 0.76 volts, right? So negative and negative becomes a positive. Then we subtract both sides by this guy and we get X to be 0.36 minus 0.76 volts gives us negative 0.4 volts. So this is our cell voltage for the cathode cell, for the cadmium, for the reduction reaction of cadmium.